Sean talked some smack. He came on this channel and he talked mad game and what was it, eight months later, he finally put him to the test and I'll be damned. Biotrust, Sean Wells, at Zone Halo is how you follow him. He's the real deal. Welcome to Price Plow. What's happening, Price Plow Nation? This is Mike Roberto, founder of Price Plow, the tech and media company where we cover the dietary supplement industries, news reviews, and interviews. We get into beef prices, we get into diet research, and we get into self experimentation. And that's what we're doing here today because I have Biotrust IC5. This is a glucose disposal agent slash nutri nutrient partitioner that is used to help you manage your carbohydrates a little bit better. And it's supposed to promote insulin sensitivity, meaning help your body uh, accept the insulin, accept the sugars that we're giving it to. But we want to put the blood sugar, that sugar in your muscle tissue as glycogen, not store it as fat. And that's what the main ingredient here does, and it's berberine. Now this product was formulated by Sean Wells, who we had on the podcast and he was talking about this. And he said he went through like 50 different berberine extracts in, uh, out there on the market and couldn't find anything good until finally he found one that had the constituents he wanted. He talked a big game about this and he said he ate a ton of candy and it helped blunt the blood sugar spike. We're gonna find out because this is oatmeal week. Before I talk anymore, let's just get a couple of these in my system. I need water in this room. Okay, I'd like to take them a little bit before the meal, even though it says take with meals. We are gonna stick with our standard meal of it's oatmeal week. I have three fourths of a cup of oatmeal and I have 126, actually 122 grams of banana and then protein, which we are going with Nutribio's 100% whey protein isolate. Go with the blueberry flavor because quite honestly, I'm about out of the other favorite flavors. So this provides one carb. In the main test where we are comparing it to the banana, uh, the banana and oats, where I am completely adamant against just eating carbs alone and then sending off your, your kid to school. We'll show you the baseline curve there, but it's just a pump and dump, spike and crash. So we're all about adding proteins. So we're actually gonna compare it to the protein added curve, which actually blunted the impact a little bit and made it a nice smoother ride and I wasn't as hungry because I was actually leveraging protein as they say. So that, that's the one we're gonna actually compare this to. It's a more realistic meal and I am, once again, as always I've been in these videos post-workout. So blood sugar, I'm wearing a blood sugar monitor and that's why it's a continuous glucose monitor, the Dexcom G5, and that's why this experiment is gonna be cool because because we're gonna get to see uh, how things are moving. I am at 90 right now, it's 112, and I'm 16 hours fasted back on track here. So let's get to let's get to eating, and we'll talk a little bit about the supplement. So two capsules is what I just took, and that gives you chromium. All these ingredients help your insulin work better in various different ways. And we can have Sean back on if we wanna talk about this ingredient, or talk about this supplement uh, in detail, but for now, I really just wanna see if it works. So berberine, we have 500 milligrams. It's a good dose, you can take it three times a day. That's like the clinical dose. Uh, and then we have a 25 to one, very strong cinnamon extract. And they're extracting for 30% polyphenols. And bentofiamine, which I'll quite honestly tell you, I don't know what it does. And naringin, which we also see in fat burners sometimes as well. And I am going to defer to Sean on how he formulated this, but it's really the secret is apparently his berberine extract. Now, the problem today is that my banana, which I weighed out at 126, and then I realized I had to take out four, car four grams because um, there is one carb provided by the Nutribio isolate, so I'm trying to stick to exactly what the numbers that we have been doing in the past are. Anyway, so I knocked the four grams out of that banana, and now we have what is a 444 calorie meal, 70 carbs, let's put the numbers up, not much fat, four grams of fat, 30 grams of protein, something like that. And then let's weigh out a 30 gram scoop of Nutribio. I put the bananas in first. Probably should have put the powder in first. We're gonna mix this up. At this point, it's been a minute or two. Gave the, head, gave the IC5 a little bit of a head start. And when making proats, you oftentimes do wanna add a little bit extra water to mix in that oatmeal, but you don't need too much. I like to use frozen bananas because I think they're 
delicious. If I am gonna eat the, basically, what is a bag of wet candy, it's sugar. Not much more. A Little bit of potassium. Yeah, so normally I, I do love to have them frozen. They also help cool down the, uh, the oats, but we don't have that today because I just bought these bananas. Now, a lot of times what you gotta realize if you're gonna freeze a banana, peel it first, then put it in a bag, then freeze it. So, 114, we are starting at 90. That's right where I like to be too. I like to get under 90. That's where I start feeling like good. Let's see how fast we do this. Got the big spoon today. Oh, it's 115. All right, let's go. That's one disgusting banana hair there. Now, if you are gonna mix protein in your oats, some of them just work better than others. I like the NutriBio stuff that has only xanthan gum. For whatever reason, the xanthan plus Isolate no other stuff really seems to work well. But if you want to talk about flavors, actually I've done that strawberry one though, the strawberry ice cream. Where's the, uh, here it is, I'm so low. I gotta, I gotta buy some more. Pancakes, maple syrup. Unbelievable, unbelievable with oats. So the Dexcom G6 that I'm wearing, it measures blood sugar every five minutes. I recently calibrated against two finger pricks just in case two. Just went down to 85, I'm looking at it. Let's check this out. Let me get that. Every time this has happened. And, but it's happened stronger here, so maybe this icy fire did something. I swear, the second I start cooking that oatmeal, my body, I believe, or it smells that oatmeal, or that banana getting cut, I believe my body is like saying, uh-oh, food's coming, let's get the insulin going. And then right off the bat, every time I've had a three, two or three point bump, this was a five point bump down. Now the reason I wanna see how fast I could deal with this is because I personally believe that, that blood sugar is really a proxy for my insulin levels. Insulin's way harder to measure. I'd have to go and get a blood draw, which isn't that expensive. You just gotta do it multiple times um, to get like a curve or anything. But I'm using blood sugar as a proxy for insulin. When insulin is elevated, fat oxidation is going to be greatly diminished. So every time you eat a carb meal, you gotta kinda wait for the, the, the spike to go down. Hyperinsulinemic people who never get their blood sugar down or diabetic people who never get their blood sugars down because, and they never get their insulin levels down, they have a terrible time burning fat. There's other factors as well, including calories, including, um, including cortisol. But for me, outside of sleep, what I'm noticing is that my blood sugar after eating carbs is elevated way too long. A little bit high, a little bit way too long. Like I'm cruising over, with the 100 grams of carbs per day that I'm on this month, I'm cruising over 100, 110, like way too much. So there's tricks around it. Leveraging protein. Taking the carbs instead of post-workout, I believe pre and intra workout. Having longer fasts, high intensity interval training. A lot of ways for me to manage blood sugar, but I'm already realizing I hate oatmeal week because I don't like post-workout carbs. I like pre and intro workout carbs. So it's 119. Started at, one at 85, we're gonna go two hours and then it'll be 320, 330, and then I'm eating some real food and that means Steak and eggs is always, <laughs> maybe some ground beef. So we'll be back when the next little thing happens and we'll see if Sean Wells putting his money where his mouth is. Dude. Is anyone seeing this? We're gonna have to show it up. I'm going down. Sean wasn't kidding. It's gonna go up eventually. I'm pretty sure of that, but this is impressive. This is really impressive. Oh, it's been what? 50 minutes yeah all right the kids waking up so we might need to come back a little bit later but i am an hour and a half in and it looks like we peaked we peaked at around 124 125 which makes this by far the most interesting and best one that i have tried yet Sean Wells, I don't think was was joking, but yeah, it looks like it looks like the curve went down and then up and then back down a little bit. So I'm on my way down. Hopefully, sometimes things happen. But so far, I am more than impressed. I love wearing this CGM. You learn so much stuff. The real question is, when 
how fast can I get down below 100? Because that's when I start feeling good again. But at the same time, I'm just going to probably, after about 30 more minutes, I'm going to eat. So that might not happen. But either way, wow. 70 grams of carbohydrates and the alarm didn't go off. I was sitting there working on the computer. I was like, so is my phone's notifications or sound on or whatever? Because usually that alarm goes off eventually. Not here. So we'll see you back in a little bit, uh, maybe in a few hours, but we'll have that chart ready for you. All right, folks, we're back, but it's actually the next day. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt two days in a row. I did not train in it, but, <laughs> but hey, I, don't judge. You've done it too. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're excited about Jay Cutler. So anyway, this product, not only I'm glad I actually waited to the next day because I see five. I didn't take it again or anything. I cannot talk about how excited I am about this supplement because here's another thing. I've been eating a lot of the same macros day in and day out lately. I'm not a huge fan of using the carbs post-workout, but that's kind of just this whole cycle I've gotten into with some of these reviews. And what ends up happening all the other days is that I end up elevated between 100 and 110 on my blood sugar for way too long. And I'm talking about like for basically 14 hours throughout the next day. I just can't get it down. I woke up in the 90s, low 90s. I've been, I went to bed in the mid 90s and I've been cruising in the 90s. And the only thing I've done differently was this. The only thing that I disagree with on this bottle, I think it's gonna come down to timing and I know not everyone can do what I'm about to suggest. It says take two capsules with your two largest carbohydrate containing meals of the day. The word with, I disagree, I think. Should do what I did, but even more so. We saw my blood sugar dip a little bit. And then, way delayed response, finally, the oats did their, did their work or whatever, and, and the blood sugar response occurred. I truly believe that if you can time it up properly, don't get yourself messed up here, but if you know you're gonna eat those carbohydrates, taking it 15 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes before the meal, and I think we might be able to blunt it even better. Now, the truth of the matter is that I might start doing that. It's tough for me because it's a go, go, go world. I, I get that. But I'm not going to be showing any more experiments. I'd love to do a second day. The show must go on. The fact is that this CGM is extremely expensive for me. I'm, it's not insured. I am not a diabetic. I don't have, so I'm not going to get insurance coverage. I do have a prescription, but it's not insured. So it's very expensive and I can't be spending multiple days tweaking every last little thing of the supplement. I'm just very confident given the delay that I saw that I think you should take your berberine containing supplement pre-meal and if you can, I would test with 15 minutes first. That's where I'm going with this. Although, uh, otherwise though, I, I'm so enthused. Like Sean, Sean talked some smack. He came on this channel and he talked mad game and what was it, eight months later, he finally put him to the test and I'll be damned. Biotrust, Sean Wells, at Zone Halo is how you follow him. This is the real deal. So very positive test. We're going to be testing some other things, but uh, right now I'm going to be trying a fiber supplement out. I can't, I, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Congratulations, Sean. Congratulations to Biotrust for getting one of the world's best formulators, if not the best formulator. So we're, yeah, it's exciting times. You found a good berberine or it's a cinnamon or it's something else in here, but very, very excited. So you can check out price.com slash Biotrust. That's where we have uh, the deals that go to Amazon. And, uh, and otherwise, I'm sure they, they sell it on their own website as well. Check out Zone Halo. That is Sean Wells' uh, Twitter and Instagram accounts and everything. But this has been a really good ride. And for me, it's, uh, yeah, it's cool to blow a blood sugar spike. That's, that's cool. What's super cool is that I wasn't cruising in the hundreds after eating that 100 grams of carbs throughout the day. And that's what's exciting. That's why I will have to continue to use GDAs as much as possible when I'm not trying to mess with a blood sugar thing. I don't want to have, you know, experiment go wrong or anything, but on a daily basis, at least twice a day, even if I'm low carb, if I've seen those numbers look a little too high, it might be time to help clear things out a little bit. Pricebot.com slash Biotrust. This is Mike Roberto signing out. Please subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more fun things coming. I'm doing some, I don't even know how to pronounce it next, Baobab. Fiber. Let's see if it spikes any blood sugar too, because there's a lot of carbs that's all fiber. Subscribe. Welcome to Price Plow.